Okay, so we're continuing our Football Club History series. We're going to Spain for this video. We're going to Seville, and we're looking at Sevilla FC. Obviously, their biggest rival was Real Betis. We've done a video on Real Betis previously. Now, Sevilla, founded in 1890, so one of the oldest clubs in Spanish football. Uh, their current stadium is the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan, which seats 42,714. The stadium is named after a successful club president who was the club president for 17 years. Now, two fun facts about Sevilla. Most successful club in the Andalusian region of Spain. And the club's first ever president was Scottish-born Edward Farquharson Johnson. So you can see the importance that the UK has on the development of the game in continental Europe. We've seen it before in Italy. We see it here in Spain as well. Now... Their silverware. They've won quite a bit, but domestically in Spain haven't won as much as you would think. They've won the La Liga title just the once in the 45-46 season. Uh, they've won the Copa del Rey a few times, uh, 1935 and 1939, so either end of the Spanish Civil War. Uh, the 47-48 season, the 2006-2007 season and 2009-2010 seasons. So they've won it five times. They've won the Supercopa Espana in the 2007 season as well. It is in Europe where they are a record-breaking side. They have won the old UEFA Cup slash the modern-day Europa League seven times, which is a record. All of those victories have come since 2006, so in the last what, 16 years, they've won it seven times. When they get to the final, they win. They, I, don't, I believe they've never lost a uh, UEFA Cup or Europa League final, which is ridiculous. So they first win it in the 2005-2006 season, they win it again in the 2006-2007 season, they win it again in the 2013-2014 season, the 2014-2015 season, the 2015-2016 season. So winning it three times in a row was a record in itself. They win it again in the Covid-disrupted 2019-2020 season to extend their record, and they won it again over AS Roma in that very heated final in the 2022-2023 season. Ridiculous record in Europe. Never won the Champions League, though, but in the Europa League and the old UEFA Cup, they dominate. They also won the UEFA Super Cup in 2006. <sighs> they dominate in Europe, but in Spain, not so much. But Europe, they win a lot. Now, their big rivals, Real Betis, the Seville derby, one of the biggest derbies in Spanish football, gets overlooked by El Clasico uh, and the Madrid derby and the Basque-Barcelona derby between uh, Athletic Bilbao and Barcelona. Gets overlooked because of those other derbies, but it is considered one of the biggest derbies domestically in Spain. They also dislike Atletico Madrid. There's a big rivalry there, predominantly for European qualification, because Atletico Madrid have also had a decent run in the old UEFA Cup and Europa League. They've also made some finals there, and they don't like Valencia. Again, that European qualification uh, for you know the Champions League and Europa League spots, there's a rivalry there as well. They're not really. They don't really see Barcelona and Real Madrid as their major rivals. It's it's the second tier of Spanish clubs, as we'll call it, for success. They don't like Betis, Atletico, or Valencia. There's heated rivalries there. They get overlooked because of El Clasico. But there we go. There's a brief history of Sevilla Football Club. And as I say, that record in the UEFA Cup and now the modern day Europa League is ridiculous. They've never lost a final in that competition. And it's all come in the last 16, 17 years. Uh, before then, they were useless in Europe. And suddenly, that 2005, 2006 season, they go on that run. The rest is history. And whenever they get to that final, they win. So let's see if they can do something in the Champions League next season. And let's see if they continue to add to that Europa League and the old UEFA Cup record that stands at seven titles. That is ridiculous. But from me for now, thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts on Sevilla as a football club in the comments section below. And I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.